Lee, I suppose if you're going to get a winner the 94th minute, it's not that bad uh, time to do it. No, I mean, it was looking probably all the way that it's going to be a nil-nil result, which a point is a point. Uh, I, thought, I, thought, I thought the players were very, very gritty today. I thought they put in a very gritty performance against a, a, a nice footballing team in Kidderminster. I know the surface was, was sapping for, for, you know, for both sets of players. Um, especially what we've had to do with the players over the last two or three weeks of getting some leg work into them. But I just thought it was a very, very gritty performance. And uh, obviously, to score so late on, you can't ask for more, can you? I mean, if you know, you, you'd probably ask all the supporters in the ground. It was said you know, to be you know, a nil-nil mm. draw, but uh, you know, for sheer guts and character, I mean, we said this to me and John that uh, since we've walked through the door, you know, the players have, uh, have, have shown that all the time. Great way for Nicky Wilbur to crown a debut as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, look, you're looking at things where you think, right, you know, to, to get us over the line, if it was going to be a point, you know, do you, do you, uh, you know, look at players if they're tiring? But I just thought Nicky had maybe one uh, last moment and him one last run, do you know what I mean, that could have got us corner or whatever. So, yeah, yeah, beautiful time for him to, uh, to score on his debut. Did you feel that when Nathan missed that header from close range, that <laughs> might come back to bite you in the backside? Well, if you look at it, I mean... They've had some nice possession, haven't they? Kidderminster. They haven't asked us that many questions in the second half. I thought that, apart from a couple of crosses uh, in the first half, uh, the majority was from shots from distance, which we'd warned Henrik about and warned the, uh, the players about. And uh, you know, when Nathan had that header, I don't know if it was just eluding him a little bit because obviously the uh, the, uh, the option should have been to go back across the goal and might have creeped in, but. Mm, I mean, I didn't think so, but I mean, when uh, when uh, Simo uh, cut in on the left-hand side, he did everything right before pulling the trigger. But I must say, it was a great recovery run from their centre half to actually uh, knock it out for a corner. So yeah, we, you always hope that you'll get just one more opportunity. That opportunity did come, and obviously Nick and finished it up very well. And a clean sheet as a bonus. Yeah, I've just been saying to the lads. I mean, if you go back to since quite a few weeks, mm, doesn't it, to Chorley away, and, and they had a lot of possessions. You know, we are we are the animal that we are at the moment, and they had a lot of possession down at Chorley. But especially in the first half, they didn't ask us too many questions. And uh, you know, if you look on the uh, majority of the game today, I, I, I think we've looked steady. Yeah, which is which is a good base to build on. And uh, like you said, you know, um, one goal conceded in two games is a is a, is a is a better way of looking at it than when you see these these reports that have you know been written in the program. So, but it's a team effort. You know, you attack and defend as a team, and uh, you know, delighted for the players. Now, you know, it's uh, it's a result that I'm waiting to hear obviously on the other results today. But uh, obviously, we'll still be in the same position because there's uh, you know, is it six points. I think six points gap. But uh, it's, it's most certainly a step in the right direction. You must have been pleased with the way Walker and Fleming came in and, uh, and settled into the, into the union. Yeah, today. yeah, I, I, yeah, everybody. Yeah, I thought, uh, <clears throat> yeah, there'd be a lot to come from Nicky. You know, he's, uh, he's got some blistering pace. He's only new to the club, isn't he? So he's getting used to your teammates as well. But I thought he worked that role very, very well. Uh, <laughs> With Brandon, I, I've just said to Brandon and Jack Van, I thought they were two very young fullbacks. I, I thought as the game progressed, that you know they grew in stature. You know, obviously Brandon, it's his first time playing at this level. He's come from Bristol City, obviously a pro club. You know, it's and it can, can be a little bit of an eye opener. But I thought, uh, I thought with uh, with Brandon that uh, you know he he, uh, he did himself proud. He, you know, he worked through that period of Ooh, this is what it's about, and uh, you know finished the game strongly. Things that you've worked worked on <coughs> Lee, over the last couple of weeks when yeah. there hasn't been a game. Yeah. Any particular aspect you were pleased with in the performance today? Well, I mean, when we first walked through the building, that we need to score more goals and we need to concede less goals. Now, I think the starting point is you've got to concede less, then you've always got a chance because you know if, if you're still conceding a hatful but scoring you know a couple more, well, you would probably still be losing. So that's the pleasing aspect that the way players have took it on board, the way we worked at the shape. And uh, the, the way they look more, co you know, a little bit more compact now, a little bit more difficult to break down, and that that, that is, it, that is a, a good point for any team to have. And a real shot of self-confidence for the lads uh, in readiness for Tuesday's game against Bracky. Yeah. Well, exactly. Yeah, I, I said it's uh, you know it's the, a, another little building block on, isn't it? So you can go into Tuesday with uh, you know a little bit more confidence, and you know hopefully, you know we get a positive result out of Tuesday. Then, and, you know, the way this league works, you know, the picture can change quite quickly, can't it, in seven to ten days? Yeah. So. We know what the uh, task is ahead. You know, it's, a, it's a great result for us today. We know nowhere near the finished article. We're, we're aware of that. But um, from the point of view of a manager and, and, and system manager, me and John, looking at a group of men that are, are you know, working their socks off. Yeah, if you want to term that. Yeah, we, we have no qualms with, with the group at all. They're being superb to work with in that aspect. And I think, well, I, I've, I've been here a month. Maybe, you know, 
in the rest of the season that's gone so far, maybe James would deserve to get three points here or deserved a point that didn't get any. Now, you know, they've uh, you know they've dragged themselves over the line to get the three points. But didn't, you know. If you asked the neutral, it'd say, yeah, point apiece. Yeah, but you know, they managed to turn a point into three points, and that gives it's a it's a lot different when you look at the table. Uh, us being in our position, one point game, you know, compared to three. So, yeah, it's a good day. Well, really well done on your home debut as well. Oh, of course, yeah. Forget about it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Lee.